everybody, welcome back to Tech Warfare with me, uh, Sid, episode 3. Um, it seems odd working in these low numbers, especially when we've accomplished so much, but then of course we're streaming as well, accomplished so much, accomplished some stuff. I did manage to get it to the point where I can make the packs now from, uh, from Hoofer. Um, thing. So I'm thinking I'm going to make a large pack if I've got the necessaries. One, two, three, four. Uh, what else do we need? Some chesticles and a couple of bits of wool. Uh, chesticles. Let me just do... Probably have some chesticles, do I not? i very surprised. Have I not got chests? I thought I picked a whole load of chests. Or did I use them for the hoppers? Maybe I use them for the hoppers. Uh, who knows? Well, you know, many people probably know. The question is, who knows right now? I need three chesticles. Which apparently is slang for um, for boobies. Oh, we can't do it in that, did you? Yeah, yeah, hang on. Um, for some of our viewers, so that's a thing. Um, anyway, three chesticles. Uh, wrong thing, three chesticles. Uh, with a couple of them. And four of those. Makes us a lovely, nice, big, large pack, which we can open... And we can store stuff in, so we can go and put those away. For example, that uh, clock should be, that can go away, that can go away. The boat can go away for the time being, and all is good and well. And, yeah. Um, oh, and I suppose the other thing we should put in there is our ten. I made five more storage crates. We are going on a road trip today, um, so let me just, before we start, let me just fill you in. So, this is the state of the building. Um, I'm still not 100% certain how I want to do it, so I ain't going to worry about it. What I do need to worry about, however, and I should make some of it because it will be handy anyway, is, uh, let me just grab a little bit of you. In fact, turn the whole lot into sticks. That's that's always a good move. And we shall grab a little bit of that, because again, we've got plenty. And I think, is it that? No, hang on, I've done something wrong here. So we have changed the pack a little bit again since the stream. So we now have not enough scaffolding back. I don't know how that vanished, but it did. Um, so I'm just going to take a few blocks of scaffold with me. Uh, in fact, I'll do one more because it doesn't hurt. Uh, I do also want to make sure I've got a crafting table um, because we're going road tripping. And I want to make myself not a, ooh, not a uh, iron bushing. I want to make a compass. And I would like to, I think it's like this, but it might be... Yeah, I'd like to make it into a nature's compass because I want to go out and find some stuff. I want to get out there. I want to find some certain biomes because there are biomes which are always very advantageous to have. Um, and before I do that, I just want to... Oh, I can do this, can't I? Because this is proper scaffold, unlike the cheap scaffold we had before. Um, yeah. I mean, it's not proper, proper scaffold, but... But what we need to do um, is there are certain areas of this thing here which are poorly lit and uh, consequently it's only there ow, and there but we can't take go around leaving poorly lit areas that's just not not cricket um, now the other thing of course I love that feature 20. Did I get them all? I think I did. I did eight. Yeah, I did three lots of 60. So all of my kit is okay. My arm was a little bit beaten up, but, you know, we'll live with that, I think. Um, so the big question now is, do I take a new axe with me? Um, I've certainly got enough amethyst for the thing. Let's Let's do that just so we've got a decent felling axe with us. Uh, we've got our sleepy bag. Let us go and check on how our little our villagers are getting on. Are they having a little snooze? I'm not on alone. Uh, Dr. Xander's on at the moment. Uh, 
Really? You, they've moved? I know the... So, Techtopia is a strange mod. Um, uh, in that, when I log off the server, you get some really, really alarming messages. Um, all along the lines... Yeah, she's she's she obviously likes to chef more. Uh, okay, well that's fine. I'm not. Who am I to judge? Um, yeah, the the longer messages on the console are quite alarming. It says destroying village. <laughs> um, yeah, it it is like literally like that. Anyway, um, we are going to go for a little journey, and the first thing I would like to try. Well, hopefully we'll have to be slept. I'd like to try and find a desert a mesa uh possibly a savannah and i'd like some jungle uh, several reasons we need to improve the logs that we get because our tree farm is restricted to three at the moment um so let's have a look if i were to go and say i would like a desert that is that direction 1700 blocks okay now let's say i would like a uh, blah, blah, blah. not a hell biome that would be unpleasant a jungle this is going to be worse i suspect still the same direction though it's kind of that direction and if i were to say i need a mesa uh, mm, all that direction so we know where we're headed that's simple enough let's go for the desert for starters then Desert search. Um, incidentally, the chicken farm, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Let me just put that away for a second. I'll just, I'll briefly show you that. Um, I I oh god, that's a good point. I I made myself a stack of chicken kebabs, um, and that I'm still not sure about those. How doing it like that? Um, I'm kind of playing around with designs. Chicken skewers. That should if, that, if that's not enough. Excuse me, madam. Thank you. Ah, get out of my way. So yeah, I logged in after a day AFK. Now bear in mind we haven't maxed out the chickens in the top, and I really not AFK. Just a day since we did the stream, or slightly less than a day. There was nine stacks of raw, of raw chicken and nine stacks of feathers. Um, I've now changed this into cook mode. Uh, nothing has died for a while, but yeah. Um, I also realised that there is a definite order to that. I managed to destroy my bucket of water, which uh, was slightly embarrassing. But um, unfortunately, I didn't make a block of obsidian in the middle of it all. Anyway, we are going to head roughly... Let me get out of night mode. We are going to head kind of this way for a while, so... We'll head down to here, and I'll uh, well, I'll come back once I find things of interest. Because there's going to be a lot of things of interest. This is this is a pack with that is made for things of interest. So yeah, that's a that's a consideration. We'll pop that down. I'll get the boat as much as I can boat. I will do, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, we're nearly at the desert. It's kind of straight ahead over there. However, we've got an opportunity. The problem is there's sharks. So the question is, how badly do I want to go and raid that? It's only going to have two chests on it. They're not usually that great. So I may do it coming back, actually. But here's a desert. Well, why did I want a desert? Well, deserts are brilliant biomes for me i i they're one of my favorite biomes for for loot gathering and exploration and the reason is quite simply because they they contain some of the most loot generating structures they contain villages and they contain uh things now i want some of this as well this is a uh, garden stuff candela seeds we'll grab those while we're here uh am i bothered about uh... 
it grows much bigger. But I really, I think, uh, whether I just want that or whether I would prefer ordinary things. Now, that looks unpleasant, so we'll, we'll give him a wide berth, I think. I will have some aloe vera, though. Because um, there's another one from the rustic set. What are you? Yucca. Do you have any usage? Green flower dye. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab a few of them uh, while we're here. I don't know about the other one. Uh, dry shrub. Not really. That's quite pretty, though. This... But this is going to be a problem for me with the, the flowers because I, I kind of going to go, oh, that's pretty. Now, I have got 10 boxes with me, so not a major problem. So I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of work through the desert now and hopefully find either a village and or a desert monument. Um, I will settle for each, either, sorry. Um, I'd like a village because if I can find a village, then... Uh, then I can borrow it. Uh, I'm not going anywhere near that. Ow, 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 ow. Swiney thing. Uh, yeah, that is a uh, magic trap. And they are evil. <laughs> they really are evil. Um, you don't want anything to do with it. If you're playing this pack and you haven't encountered one of those, the first rule is quite simply, don't go anywhere bloody near it. <laughs> Second rule is stay away, and the third rule is, there is no third rule. All of those rules should be sufficient. What will happen if you walk in there is a bunch of wizards will suddenly materialise with you and a force cage will appear around the edge of you. Um, and the wizards will attack you with magic, because that's what wizards do. That's a savannah over there, isn't it? Excellent, that's handy. Um, Uh, yeah, so the main mission right now, get get out there, find some stuff, and uh, I will be back when I have said stuff found and ready. So, see you in a bit. Alright, well we found something, there's a village, but we also found that now. I happen to know, as a structure, that is an absolute nightmare to go into, because I found one of those in testing, and... Uh, Went in in creative mode because, you know, I wanted to know what was in there. And that is full of illagers. It is absolutely packed to the rafters with them. Um, the, the, every single illager type that you can think of in 1.12 is in that tower. Plus wizards. <laughs> so, yeah, that is a definite, uh, absolutely not on your nelly now we can clearly see here that deserts are really really bad places for villagers uh they're extra bad if you've got the um ferdinand flowers mod installed because instead of in, in addition to cactuses you've got all of these um so yeah, probably not the best idea to go around playing around with those. Um, you see another one taking damage through a cactus. It's oh, and there's is that another village over there? That is, I think. Excellent. Okay, we might manage to come away from here with a couple of uh, teleportation stones and some other goodies. I'm not going to worry too much about us taking the. Uh, am I? Am I? I might actually take the seeds. I might borrow another cup of sugar. Uh, uh, come here. Uh, uh. Ah, give me your slime. Right, you, oh, I don't want to. They should be alright in the daytime. It's night time they get aggressive. Uh, so what we're looking for is the, st whoops, sorry, the storeroom. What are you? You're a lumberjack, okay. Well, we'll have these books. That's a certainty. Because wrong not to, after all. I did bring a crafting bench, didn't I? Yes, that's good of me. Um, what else have we got? We should have more more stuff than this about the place. That merchant... 
yeah this is really is not a good place for um villagers just because of the things they don't deserve to keep their crops to be honest you know because they're just being so so just so derm about it oh hello uh huh let's go around if we can do 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 let's have a look what we got in here oh that's got my meat just passing through so not a huge amount uh, so far mainly books we've had out of this there's the storeroom which we'll check out in a moment but we're going to have the books and i think i'll probably take um a good portion of the um of the crops as well just so we've got got them i can't get out that way can i uh uh-huh uh-huh let's have a look what you got well let me in emerald i'll take it uh, no point though even uh, and more emeralds and an emerald yay <laughs> right let's uh let's just try and go and pinch a few staple items maybe from one of these farms i'm not going to do you know what in fact i'm not uh, i'm kind of in two minds as to whether to bother or not i can't see i don't think there's any of the other structure uh these are just yeah there's no blacksmith in this one i am going to just go and have a look at this lot over here oh actually i'm going to head over that way i'll come back to that tower reason being is those things get aggressive at night and uh, i may not be able to get an immediate sleep out of uh doc Zander over there so and plus there's that there's more stuff to be had that one didn't have a teleporter either which was disappointing so yeah that needs uh that needs a, a thing doing with a thing. Oh god, they're everywhere. These coyotes. I think the coyotes are the coyotes or wolves. They're one of the two. It doesn't really matter. Whatever they are, you know. If it attacks you, it doesn't really matter, does it? You, you're not going to sit there and go, "Oh, that yeah, was okay because it didn't attack me." But because it's getting on to night time, here's an idea. Here's a thought, even. <laughs> See, clever. This is what you, how you do it. You basically come and hide in somebody's house and go, ha ha, you can't get me doggies. Right, what have we got here? Let me just have a look on the mini map. You really can't tell with these desert things, can you? I'm hoping that we have a teleporting structure because that would be nice to pinch. And then I could set a desert waypoint to teleport to. You can see they've gone nasty. Well, because they've... Uh, They've gone all, they've gone all, you know, freaky on you. All right, let's see if we can't. Let's see if we can't. Oh, I might have a, no, I don't, I'll not. They're not particularly tough, but there's a lot of them. That village is insane. Why are they... Why are they not moving? Oh. Alright. Well, that is like, makes life a little, bit, a little bit easier, doesn't it? I don't know why those villagers have stopped moving, though. Okay, well now, the problem is completely academic. Because I can sleep. Anyway, I'm just going to search around this village a wee bit, see what else we can find. I'm going to eat this mutton skewer. Um, now, if I look in my bag, I think I've got some other skewers. I'll put those away for now. And, yeah. yeah. Well, that's not quite what I intended to do, but...
Right, let's do that. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. All right, um, we've Potter's, Potter's just come online, but um, fortunately she doesn't have any villagers, so we don't have to worry too much about the old thing. But we did find this. Uh, didn't get a huge amount from that village, just mainly books and crops, but... Um, and what I don't want is anything to mind it's a stone pressure if that's you know what this this would have been a far more evil trap if they'd have made that a water pressure plate <laughs> I suppose we should be grateful bank safe uh, in fact double safe we uh, nice she's working on a super spawner uh, oh, diamond, emerald, we'll have a sorcerer's hat, that's nice. A poison bomb, in fact, we're going to have everything, including the chests. Well, almost everything. Uh, we'll take the fire bomb, iron halberd, those, that and that. Not going to worry about uh, that, I'll sort that in a moment. Ooh, what else we got? Steel, oh, right, here we go. Ah. Uh... Not sure specifically, but there we go. I might be able to point to, to a few of them. Just uh, let me, let's have a look quickly what we got. A punch, a spell book, some robes, a saddle. That's excellent. Uh, some more spells, more gold and apple stuff and things. Yeah, that's not a problem. Right, I'll get this sorted and I shall be back in a moment. All right, so back out on the surface, uh, we've dealt with that. Uh, I happen to know where, I was just telling uh, Potter that I, I know where there is a spawner, but I doubt she'll want it because it's a vexed spawner and I don't want to go anywhere near it. <laughs> Any sensible person would not want to go anywhere near it, um, I feel. But that's another one of them. I don't want to play with it, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, I look forward to the day. Oh, and there's a more savannah. Um, so that's handy. But we're finding finding all sorts of good stuff to do when we're feeling a bit more more things. Uh, but vindicators and giant penis statues at the bottom by the looks of it. Sorry, that's just... <laughs> first thing popped into my head. I don't know why. Um... However, I do want to make sure that we are exploring the bounds of this desert. So we are going to have a good, good fertile round and uh, see what we can see. Um, yeah, uh, that, that would be fun to do, but it's um, not not equipped as I am. That's that will be suicidal to do equipped as I am I think that's the word we're looking for here anyway more to more to have a little fertile around I don't think there's actually a lot more over this way there's more desert kind of over that way but and we're getting a little bit of juddery here um, so I will come back um, just as soon as I've exhausted the possibilities of this desert off or found something interesting there's something interesting over there but I don't know what it is so I'm going to go and have a is that uh, oh that's that might have some let's go and just have a peek at it I'll, I'll come back once we get a little bit closer right now sometimes if, if I'm not mistaken I think these have some of the little bush people living or working around them so I'm just going to take it steady And kind of these are these things are weird. The way they spawn in can be almost disconcerting. You can get closer and closer, and then suddenly, bang, they're there. I don't trust that. Um, oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, I was right. We can't get me if I'm underwater. Where's he gone now? Right, let's have a... Is it the only the one? Let's try not to kill the horse. Uh... 
Interesting. Why till the, why do I still not feel safe? Oh, not very particularly not Ah Go 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 Get my horse me Yeah I prefer to shoot him. I don't wanna got nothing personal against the horse particularly Oh, what's going on with this? I think we're getting a bit of server lag. How dumb do you have to be just to sit there and take that? And this guy is not wearing a saddle, so if I... Mine. Hardly worth it, but mine all the same. Right, I'm going to keep this, uh, should I keep this one or should I take that one? This was in better shape. Right, I'm going to use this to uh, to my advantage while I can. Uh, I need to get a bit of acacia sapling, which would be, yeah, okay. So it helps if the horse is not actually in the tree. Let me get some acacia saplings. I don't need a lot, and uh, and again we'll continue on. And I'll I'd, I'm probably not going to take this horse. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to take this horse back with me. But um, what we can do is at least use it while we're out here. Um, kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, back in a bit. Found another village. Um, so this is working out pretty well for us in that respect. Uh, this is a savannah village and we found a ravine so let's not try to find well it's actually not a very deep ravine but it could have been that's the point is it, it very easily could have been um, this horse is pretty swift actually uh, you get any ideas about my horses right you um, I think we are going to yeah we're going to stop here and just raid this village uh, the desert is still pretty big, lots of space, but I think it looks like it kind of spans around this way. Um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Back in a minute. This one's got a bard look. <laughs> uh, and a uh, blacksmith's. I've, I've already raided the uh, thingamabob. I don't know whether I'm going to get any more books. I probably should get the books, actually. Uh, we'll definitely have that. We'll take all of these, because why not? In fact, have that as well because why not and uh, I'm not going to bother taking all the seeds this time I will have a good fertile oops we'll grab now you you are you see that again is in um, italics it's no use to me it's this this thing where a item there was actually a thing I'm thinking about uh, a hoofer uh, waystone but I'm thinking about about where I actually want to set this up. Emerald. <laughs> this is, oh yeah, thank you. Uh, oh, don't mind if I do. And uh, I'll have a little bit of that as well, if you don't mind. Okay, very nice, very nice. I'm going to have your books as well. Change my mind. Um, the books are going to be useful because when we come to the, the library, we're going to want a lot of books. Um, I don't think you actually have to have a lot of books, but we're going to want a lot of books. So while we're here, we should probably just check out any of the other potential rooms. I've picked up one of these. These are bounty rule seven bread, ninety-three dirt, get one in good. This is. I'm going to take another one. I'm sorry, I'm having it. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. I tell you, mine. No one shall have it but me. Um, yeah. So these are working out pretty it's working out pretty profitable and I've not even found most of the biomes I want yet um, uh, I'm gonna keep that out because I do want to set a waypoint up somewhere uh, for for later but um, while we're at it let's get those in there that one's an early fall so we'll just include it and in there and we'll head on uh, we've got a glowstone that's mine Oh damn! 
Uh, I've not done well. May have found a boreal mount. I don't know. Uh, but I hello books mine. Ah, excuse me a second. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to keep on around the desert, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the compass out. I found Savannah, and I've got what I wanted from Savannah, which was predominantly this um, thing. There's the horses over there. Yeah, predominantly I wanted the the timber. Um, so that's got what we wanted. We can move on and uh, keep searching. We'll be back in a bit. All right, we left the desert behind. There's still plenty of desert unexplored, um, but I left it behind. All right, there's a camp there, a native camp there. There's an empire peasants thing there. But I left it behind for the promise of this. Um, one of the things I really do like building with in Minecraft is hardened clay. And uh, hardened clay, of course, is an absolute pain in the bum to get, unless you happen to know what the hell that is. Uh, that does not look friendly. Um, but the other thing about these things is they are great for loots. So also very very busy for natives by the looks of things but we can have a little look around I'm not I've not explored these areas properly for uh, in this area so what we shall do is we'll park our horse by which I mean where the hell's it gone now Seriously, I s swear. Minecraft horses will be the death of me. Where the... Well, did it just vanish? I mean, I know it's not my horse, for one. It's not even got a saddle on it. It's just... Um, it will work until I log out. <laughs> and then it will... Uh, it will fail <laughs> horribly now you can usually find amongst these um, tracks uh, mine carts i may also uh, and also cave spider spawners get that get that get that get that uh, good and of course string which uh, is great i hate cave spiders there's only one thing i hate as a mo one more in minecraft and that is probably silverfish Although endomites possibly come close as well. Right, we have a location. So what I would like to do is mark this location for teleportation purposes. Because at some points we are going to want to come and, you know, for want of a better word, exploit this area. It's a, it's a harsh word. But it is, you know, true. <laughs> You know, I didn't come out here f for the view. Well, I did come out for partly for the view. I enjoy, I enjoy exploring Minecraft areas, but I primarily came out here for the accessibility of hardened clay. Um, ow. Stop with the spiky things, will you? And with the added advantage that there appears to be other things. Now, I would like to... How do I make it clear that this is not a naturally spawning structure? I think the obvious trick would be to borrow a little bit of this. Uh, let's get it on the thing. So if I take three, nine, plus one, ten. Right, what we'll do is we'll, hmm, where to place this? I want it somewhere reasonably safe doesn't really matter does it to be honest it's uh so what we're going to do is we will go um hmm wow i could make it into terracotta no that's not going to help what we will do is we're going to do this and i'm going to get one of those and we're going to put sid mesa biome that should indicate that that is, you know, a um, 
this is mine. <laughs> uh, we'll also put a, put a hot thing. So uh, Mesa, uh, new Mesa, purple, save and close. Right, so now we've got a uh, we've got a, a point. We've got um, a teleportation point. We can we can even leave that horse there if we want to for for future explorations. Uh, although I would still like to go and find that jungle sapling, but I really want to know what this is. Not, I mean, I know it's a structure from ancient warfare. Uh, what I probably mean more accurately is who it is. <laughs> if that makes any kind of sense um what we should probably do hopefully uh potter's ready to sleep at a moment's notice because we are gonna we're gonna want to bam down our sleeping bag and get some uh, zeds on rapidly that looks more like a peasantry thing does that like, doesn't look quite so uh formidable B -b 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 -b. come on uh, uh here we go come on potter do your thing yeah, no. Before I get eaten alive by wolves, would be good. Maybe. Might have to get out of this sleeping bag and, and just pillar her up or something. Because it's getting dark. Oh, we go. We're we're good. Okay. deep breaths right let's go I want to know what is in what you are we'll take his daddy we'll just walk over you know we'll do a not we'll do this nonchalantly we'll not we'll not rush into thing fools fools rush in those that the wiser amongst us do do nonchalant Someone has just spawned. Who are you? Oh. Ow. You've got a bit of range on you, haven't you? Of course, you've got a spear. Ow. Die. Oh, shiny. Gold shield. Um, I need to eat. There's at least one more, and I should be using my shield, to be fair. Are you inside? My shield does different things. See? Told you. <laughs> um, okay, well they weren't the toughest. Oh, I want that. Can I, can I harvest? I can. Mine. What else you got? Uh, potato. You know, really nothing worthwhile. Um, beds probably are probably the most valuable items here. Because obviously we can use those. Can we repair the gold shield? We can. We can repair the stone spear, although that really you should be able to Is staring at me. Is there anything there I desperately need? Not really. I'm, I'm not even going for it. Uh, okay, let me just have a little hunt around. I may also try and grab a few stacks of the um, bog standard terracotta before we head back. I may. Uh, let me just check something before I make a big decision. Jungle biome. How close are we to a jungle biome? Jungle. Search. No. So if I'm painting that, that's kind of, oh, well, you can't see me thinking. It must be on the other side of that desert. Okay. Well, we can do that. We've got a waypoint here. We can go grab the os and, uh, and go on and do that but yeah i definitely want a few stacks of of um of, of terracotta 
hardened clay. I'm sorry, it'll always be hardened clay. And that's another bunch of spearmen and stuff, isn't it? That looks... I don't know whether that's militaristic or not. Uh, is it worth even going there? Well, let's have a look. Anybody going to spawn, huh? Oh, Archer. But two can play that game, matey. Maybe not. All right, yeah, we'll leave it for now. I'll get the terracotta. Um, I don't really want to die out here, um, but I do want to get a few bits and pieces for building, so I'll get some of this, and uh, and I shall be back in a moment. I'll probably do it a bit closer over to the hoss, and then we'll head over to the jungle, try and get some jungle saplings. That will be good and right and proper, and uh, we can then head back home. So see you in a moment. You know, of all the stupid things that Mojang have done over the years, I think horses not being able to swim with a rider on the back has got to be one of the most annoying. I mean, it was one of the most useful additions to the game after after the failed attempt at pigs with carrots on sticks. You know, the... Uh, we're going to need to sleep in a minute. Let me head over well away from those coyotes. Um, it was just such a bad idea. Right, get me that. Come here, you. Um, oh, hang on, man. No, stop running. Why is it? And this. This. Thing. Why do horses just walk off all the time? It is bizarre. Anyway, we're heading out to the jungle biome where we're going to get some jungle saplings, hopefully. Uh, maybe some cocoa beans if we're very lucky. Um, well, not very lucky. I mean, let's be honest, it's cocoa beans. It's It should be a matter of course. Um, the jungle biome is not very far away. Uh, it is, in fact, uh, 863 blocks that way. So we're gonna try. Oh, we'll try and do it on land, and try not to kill this horse in the process. Um, although, like I say, it's the horse has no attachment. It's not a horse I have tamed. Uh, it's a horse that I have borrowed from a an NPC, and thus ends our journey on horseback that direction. Anyway. Uh, for 690 blocks so yeah you're free oh now you don't want to walk off swining thing a um, bunch of sheep appeared to die in front of me uh, the cactuses the biomes are not uh, very friendly to them either but we are getting closer we've just got to get a little bit of jungle stuff and then we can go home and I'll probably I'll probably write down a waypoint over here just so we've got uh, an easy means because we are a goodly distance out now. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. And there we have it, a jungle biome. Now, God only knows what ancient warfare has got planned for me in here. Um, I actually haven't explored um, one of these overly above and beyond certainly for ancient warfare structures so so yeah that's a thing um but we did bring a spare axe there are some cocoa beans i see them over there oh and melons will have that too if you don't mind not sure whether our little fe these fellas can actually do melon um the tango's villagers i'll have to double check actually um but if they can we'll uh definitely be going for a bit of melon action in the uh, farm because obviously every single little thing helps uh, however I also want those if I can well it doesn't matter if they're right does it I just want I just want the beanie goodness there we go give me some cocoa beans give me your cocoa beans look 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to grab a little bit of this stuff now. Um, shall I use a big one? Maybe we should. It would seem wrong not to. I mean, come all this way just to go for the first convenient little little tr little tree that we come to. So we'll uh, we'll try and work our way in. That gives us some jungle wood. And uh, now it is worth noting that the villagers don't seem to understand giant trees so we haven't got the advantage that we can get the tango tech villagers um, chopping these down they they get confused by such things as giant trees um, yes yeah, I know it's not a long spell uh, yeah so I'm going to grab some of that. We should get what well, we got a jungle sapling so far. Hopefully, we'll get a few more. And uh, I'll be back in a while. All right. Um, well, I've set up the waypoint. We can teleport back here at any point. Uh, I've course, called it Sid Jungle because, you know, what it is. Um, doesn't need to be very imaginative. I am a little bit. We've come away with quite a few resources that we didn't have from here including melon seeds uh, grape seeds from rustic which whilst not exactly the oh, I heard that you're down that cave aren't you chicken egg typical when you don't want them you find them now we could have a good wander around in the jungles and jungles are not Jungles are probably one of the most miserable areas to explore. However, that looks like a... Future Minecraft bamboo, and you can smelt it. Oh, hello. Um, and I'm going to, hopefully it grows with a, you know, it should do if it's going to act like future Minecraft, but uh, that was a nice find actually. Um, but I think we will probably there's a big ship over there. I want to just want to go and get a closer look at that, just because it's a big ship, and uh, I do like the big. I like the, the structures that this game puts in here. Uh, yeah, we'll have a quick peek at that and then we'll we'll sneak off. Oh, look at the size of that thing. That is um, majestic and almost certainly full of pirates. Let me just sleep the night off quickly. Um, yeah, so I think we've kind of done our exploration. I've got no idea how long I've been going, so I'm going to head home now, courtesy of three levels of experience. Well, three, three experience. Now, it's got a good old cooldown on that, but that's fine. We don't mind about having cooldown. Um, let's go and have a look how my cooker's going, and then I'll check on uh, how long I've been recording and then we'll see what we're going to do next if if much of anything I would like to just take stock of what we've got if nothing else um, because we did get we got some good stuff that's working um, so that will keep the villagers fed I'll be able to stick chicken in they do get a bit surly if they're stuck with the same old thing but you know um, Everybody loves chicken. Chicken, well, except vegetarians, uh, vegans, uh, people who in fact don't like chicken, I suppose, could be counted amongst those. Uh, now, if we are going to do that, we probably want to get some uh, a jungle barrel going for the jungle woods, because we're going to have, potentially doing that, let's have a look, barrels, so it's just a, uh, hmm, Let's do it with the actual correct timber, shall we? Shump. And shump. There you go. A jungle wood barrel. If you're going to have your jungle wood in a barrel, make sure it's in a jungle wood barrel. Now, what I may actually do as well is, is take out the... 
the darker these ones and actually put them into barrels of their own type now we've got a little bit more of that type of things going on which is kind of a certain amount of sense there let me check how long i've been recording i'll see what we've got and i shall be back in a moment all right uh, i've been going way 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 over what i intended to which is oh, surprising i really enjoy exploring in any game and uh, who's taking damage from what uh merchant why are you i think he's just fallen um what were you accepting anyway cooked you accept cooked meat is merchant is merchanting is getting much more uh, specific so very very briefly um we have got a chest of the valuables so this is everything we brought back except for books which really but we've got a low, whole load of immersive engineering stuff including blueprints we've got six diamonds 15 emeralds a whole load of bits and pieces all good and a spare waystone excellent stuff magic stuff the books were a bit lame but we have got some more arcana some magic missile scrolls wand upgrades sorcerer's hat sorcerer's robes poison bombs pyromancer's boots fire bombs you name it and some spell books which we don't know what they are uh we got a whole load of equipment which we we give these i'm going to put one of those up in the village uh i'm going to i don't think there's there isn't a recipe for those there isn't a recipe for those that one we may be able to deconstruct from the thing um that hasn't got a recipe but i wanted saddles anyway uh i don't know whether that that's just the thing uh in there we've got a whole load of food and plants nothing exciting there we've got a whole load of blocks nothing overly exciting in there we've got a whole load of mob drops um but we've done pretty well and more importantly we have explored uh let me get myself into the daylight mode we've explored a massive area so that desert was literally right on our doorstep the jungle is just over there the mesa uh mesa is just over there um we've got waypoints at both we know there's other stuff to explore around the area there's plenty of these which when i feel confident enough we will probably go and have a little play with but um, yeah, it's always nice to explore, to know more about what's around us. And with a good, a good chance, with that lot over there, that may, may be nice by him, but there's also going to be those uh, things. Um, didn't get as much done as I would have liked to do on the village, but the village, this building, I can work on the stream with that. Um, we do really need to let these guys have some time off um, because I they, they, they really are depressed um you know they i mean these these always look depressed anyway but um yeah but on the whole we're moving forward uh we have got some sales i've got a few things here the a depressed chef is not a happy chef we really do need to up our village system and we also do need to have a look at what we can sell out of what we've got, which is not a huge amount, actually. Uh, we have got some spruce wood, and we have got some carrots. Uh, and we've got 41 baked potato of their own making, which is pretty good. But, um, yeah, on that note, I'm going to just hang around. I'll sleaze around the place, just keep the place ticking and uh let's we'll see what we can get but right now it doesn't look like we're going to get a lot sold uh it doesn't it doesn't want spruce at all today so uh yeah we'll uh till next time thank you very much for watching guys i will see you soon bye for now